Hello everyone. We tackled the challenge digital open data platforms to ensure transparency and reliability of data. As Bill Gates writes in his book, 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases are added to our atmosphere every year, which can have a huge effect on our planet and especially the climate. These human caused climate change leads to global warming and its ripple effects are seen in devastations such as floods and forest fires. This is the motivation for our team name, 51 billion shades of carbon. We are a mix of highly motivated students and researchers who won the Darmstadt Climathon this year. Some of the challenges in providing a digital open platform are that simple raw data is difficult for the general public to understand and interpret. This can also lead to ineffective data management and the issues of having a sustainable environment. To motivate the importance of such a platform, we take the example of our winning submission to the Darmstadt Climathon that tackles storm rainfall using an open source geodata. A solution for this challenge is twofold. First is machine learning based approach that includes processing, analyzing and exploring the available and released geodata and then applying classic machine learning algorithms and state of the art deep learning algorithms. Our machine learning algorithms can use both the raw as well as the pre-processed geological images to provide such robust clustering and classification. Solving this task is not easy without including the relevant domain information that can provide crucial insights into the geography of the location in addition to the images. Our solution uses a human in the loop aspect where a domain expert provides the machine learning model with extra information, thus resulting in more robust clustering as well as classifications. This can be provided as an end-to-end -end product to the public for better interpretability. Second fold involves freely available geo-information system tools. We use the classification results provided by our machine learning techniques into the geo-information system tool QGIS and calculation of peak flow using rational method, rainfall storm, and its probable flood-related extremity and water level simulation at different points. Hence, in order to visualize, for the, visualize it for the public and for simplicity, we can now visualize this data into a 3D web-based 3D web view. These are some of the benefits of a proposed solution. We can have a 3D web view and mobile user visualization. We can provide free software and plugins using our already developed machine learning algorithm. And we have fast processing and response time. Our customer segments would be the municipality of individual cities, towns, or villages. And of course, the local inhabitants of these cities, towns, and villages. And these can be our solution can be scaled globally based on the availability of data. The cost that we have in our company is for data gathering, marketing, and computation, and powering costs. License for companies who could use our software inhibitants, a free version with less information, pro version with more information. That's what we have done. Let's protect our floodywood with share for all of data.